Hi, welcome to Infinity and Beyond, a video series where we'll be covering actual rocket science, brought to you by Astronomy Magazine. Each episode will take a brief dive into a different cosmic topic, covering it from the basics to the latest research. My name is Abigail Bollenbach, and today I'll be talking about extremely compact cosmic objects so massive that not even light can escape their gravity. Black holes are extremely dense objects that have collapsed in on themselves due to their own gravity. A black hole is a region of space-time where gravity is so strong that nothing, not even particles, can escape from it. Before we talk about the history and different types of black holes, let's first take a tour of one. The defining feature of a black hole is an event horizon, a boundary where no matter around can escape. While these objects are mysterious and exotic, they are also a key consequence of how gravity works. When a lot of mass gets compressed into a small enough space, the resulting object rips the very fabric of space-time, becoming what is called a singularity, a region where the space-time curvature becomes infinite. Despite their name, black holes actually can shine, at least in the material swirling around them can. That's because gas, stars, and dust whirling around a black hole vigorously releases huge amounts of energy and makes it glow. The Hubble Space Telescope actually has the ability to clock the speed of such gas that's swirling around a black hole's event horizon. By measuring how fast the gas is swirling around the black hole, astronomers can calculate the black hole's mass. The first prediction of objects with gravitational fields too strong for light to escape them was made nearly 250 years ago in the 18th century by the English astronomer John Mitchell, who used the term dark star to describe them. In 1916, Carl Schwarzschild, a friend and colleague of Einstein, solved the equation of general relativity to describe the region of space around a simplistic black hole. However, black holes were long considered a mathematical curiosity until scientists in the 1960s showed they were likely a common occurrence. Finally, the first black hole candidate, which was Cygnus X1, was discovered in 1971. Since then, astronomers have chipped away at countless questions related to these astronomical beasts. We know much more about black holes now after studying them at many wavelengths, watching them merge and eat huge meals of material. For instance, in February 2016, the LIGO and Virgo collaboration announced the first detection of gravitational waves, which also represents the first observation of a black hole merger. And in 2019, scientists made another amazing advancement, taking the first direct image of the shadow cast by a supermassive black hole. Black holes are commonly classified according to their mass. Researchers have uncovered there are basically three main categories of black holes, stellar, intermediate, and supermassive. The exact mass ranges are still uncertain, but stellar mass black holes typically weigh between a few to about a hundred times the mass of the sun. These are the standard black holes you're likely familiar with, which form when a massive star reaches the end of its life and explodes in a supernova, leaving behind a black hole. Intermediate mass black holes are the in-betweeners, ranging from about 100 to 1 million solar masses. Scientists have found several candidate intermediate mass black holes in our galaxy and others. They think these cosmic middleweights form when stellar mass black holes either consume material from their surroundings or merge with other black holes. Finally, the most massive black holes are called supermassive black holes, ranging from millions to billions of times the mass of the sun. These black holes pack all their weight into a region the size of a single star. They lie at the center of almost all large galaxies, including our own. Despite their abundance, however, we're still not sure how or when these cosmic behemoths formed. 
The motions of stars near the center of our own Milky Way provide strong evidence that a supermassive black hole exists, which is called Sagittarius A star. Scientists discovered it is actually 4.3 million solar masses. However, we didn't even confirm our black hole's mass until 2008, which just goes to show how much we really don't understand about them. Our supermassive black hole and Andromeda's black hole will find each other in the future galactic collision and slowly circle inward. In the end, they will collide in an incredible event. Can you just imagine the gravitational waves emitted from that? One thing is for sure, and that is we must continue marching onwards because the universe sure isn't going to slow down for us to catch up. Remember, there is no limit when you're watching Infinity and Beyond.